This is an ultrasonic mister circuit. I'll show you a bit more later. This is the actual um I don't know what the device, the ultrasonic I think it's piece of crystal whatever. And this vibrates as ultrasonics. And when I first tried this it didn't seem to be working but I've almost definitely had it wrong. Um, I have it plugged into a 5 volt USB wall wart thing, just 5 volts. I think it will go from 3 volts to 12 volts. There's an on off switch here, like a push switch. It's hard to know whether it's on or off actually when you press that. I think it does come, when you first plug it in, it does come on turned off. So I'm going to, well actually, uh, I'll just show you it fogging. You have to just get this crystal, just if I've got it turned on. I don't think I have. I'll press the switch. There we go. Can you see that? Well, you can see it coming up here, I think. I have to just get just sort of above the surface of the of the liquid that is um let me try doing this a bit because i can't really see in the viewfinder when i'm doing this i have to get just right i think there we are i aren't fiddling this i aren't joking this Every time I go to look at the camera, and I can feel it on my hand, I can just about hear it sometimes, if I get just right. I was shocked about the amount of clouds that does. Let me shake some of the water off. Some of the clouds that does produce. go it's just getting it I think you'll have to have it just sort of right sorry the shadow of my hand is confusing me there whether it's water or just sort of on the actual surface almost the top level level with the actual disc that's inside I think you go too low it doesn't work sometimes you get a very small fountain in there if you go too high it doesn't work it seemed to be going better before because when you come to film something like this, it doesn't work as well as what you... Well, I was absolutely shocked about the amount of moisture it was pushing out. That's just a small amount there. I'll cut this out and I'll try and get going just right. You can probably see that definitely at the top of my hand, I think. And I'm not kidding you, I was absolutely shocked about the amount of whoops moisture this was giving out. Like humid, this will make it obviously humid. I can feel it on my hand, cool, like cool moisture, very fine. And you, hopefully you can see that, I'll try and zoom in. I'll try and get a different angle because it might show up better on the camera. Just give this a few more seconds. So it's just getting the water level right. It has to be almost spot on. That's one of the things that you might find a bit difficult to like adjust it. I'm just trying a different angle. This water is getting quite warm. So you have to probably have a bit of water in. And Obviously, as it's pushing out the moisture, the water level's going to go down and then it's probably going to get too low. 
can we uh, can I make this better? It's very hard to do this in the camera. The Y is very short as well. You might be able to see that. That's quite what I would term as a low level. I have known it go higher than this. So you push it down too low under the water. The water's getting warmish now. So I'll, I'll do another angle yet again. I'll let cool down a bit. Might be able to see the cloud coming up here. Just try changing the angle a bit more. It's extremely difficult for me to do because camera and all the tripod on the camera I haven't much space because of the length. Let me, uh, I'm going to unplug it a bit because I don't want the water. I think the water is getting warm because I've got the whole cell pushed in the water. I'll just show you that. Right, I've just plugged it in. Let me knock the switch. You might see it just move. Sometimes it does produce like very small bubbles or there might be bits of dirt off here. Because these are, well, bigger ones than this probably are used as uh, clean as ultrasonic. So if I go too low like this, it goes off. It does seem to produce a very small fountain. I don't know if you can see that, like a bump of water. And just raising it up slowly. It starts, and obviously if it's too high, see, there's a time when it makes a bit of noise there. When you raise it up too high, it stops. Just a second, because I'm getting very uncomfortable where I'm sat. Oh, there, and it would come good there. So there's, hopefully you can see this. As it's getting higher, it sort of demystifies even more. But it's big. It's a big cloud. Let me try turning this light off. Oh, that's a lot worse. What's happened there? That was extremely worse. I didn't expect the camera to do that. And I can definitely feel it on my hand here. That's making my hand cool with the moisture. I'll show you the electronics now. Just now. I'll let this go a few more seconds. Just get my fingers so I can rest on the bottom there. As I say, as the water levels, the water's sort of getting pumped up here, you could say, in this mist. So the water level's going to go down. So as the water level goes down, it's going to stop it working. So either you might want a safety switch. Some of these humidifiers, proper ones, I would call them, uh, do have a sort of level thing on, I think, that stops them... working if the water level gets too low. Oh. So it's gone off again. Broken. Don't know if you heard that. It's getting the water the, the level just right. I've got that on a bit of an angle there. I think it's quite hard to see the steam in this camera. I mean, you probably can see it might look like a haze. What I'm going to call it steam. It's very much like cold steam. It looks like steam and it feels like steam. I don't want to do this too much because I don't want too much like uh, moisture floating about the house. I want this for another reason. I can smell a smell. Can I feel any warmth on the chips? Very, very slightly. Right, I'll show you the electronics now. Let me unplug this, make sure it's unplugged. Take this out of the water. So there's the, there's the um, 
I think it's supposed to be 20 millimeters diameter. Well, the actual thing itself is probably 20 millimeters. It does have this sort of silicon type rubber around it to protect it. It's just over 20 that. About 22, say. That's the back. I cannot actually see just a second. Let me try and get up to the light. No, I can't see any holes in this. I believe it does have very microscopic holes inside the I think it does have microscopic holes inside. And that just plugs in. There's only one real way you can plug this plug in. It does have a bump on this plug, a very small plug there. Get a bit of water on here to dry it off before I start it back up. So we got like a couple of inductors. Quite a biggish capacitor for the circuit that is. And obviously the switch and the barrel jack plug. So as I say, I'm just putting in 5 volts from a USB, excuse me again, getting very uncomfortable again. I'll turn it over where there's more chips on. Just let me dry this off a bit, a little bit of water on there. Now there might look like there's bits of water on the circuit board, but I think it's more, it's more um, flux. Quite reasonably well made, I would say. The the board, there's some bits of like almost wire that could have been cut off, sticking up a bit. Obviously, it's working. So it's a bit of water on that chip there. See, it's Q1 there. Q normally means transistor, but uh, that might be a voltage regulator. Try and get the number there. I think most of these chips do have numbers on. Not all that much on this side. So yeah, I'm not going to say all the chip numbers, I don't think. I'm trying to see some of the chip numbers there. Yep, that seems to work alright. As I would say, you have to be careful about the water levels. I would say, because if it gets too shallow, then it, I think it could burn out. Uh, and obviously it's going to get shallower and shallower as the moisture comes out the top, so to speak. Right, here is the uh, eBay page. 113k hertz. 20 millimeter diameter ultrasonic mist maker atomizing fog ceramic Q1 
you can read the flyer with PCB, make sure you, if you're getting it probably you want the PCB. You can get these things separate. There's a circuit board. It might be easier to read. I'll try and get a picture of this circuit board for you, put it on here.